Hello guys, I'm back with another video, and welcome back everyone. In this part of the PyCord full boss series, we're going to implement cogs, and also begin working on the moderation cog for the bot. This video won't be super long, but probably as long as the last one. So, let's uh, get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is, here, create a new folder inside the PyCord tutorial folder, or whatever you named it name it cogs all right so first we can go ahead and create a new file in that folder called moderation.py in moderation.py we want to add some code first of all we want to import discord and also from discord.ext import bridge and commands so the commands extension will use that to implement the cog actually because the cog system is a subclass of commands. So, class, we'll name it moderation, and this will be a type commands.cog. Inside here, we need to do def init. So, when it's initialized, we want to set self to bot to bot, just like that. And we can go ahead and create actually our first command, which will be a kick command. We'll do for cogs we need to do bridge dot bridge command. Otherwise it won't work. And we'll put the description to kick a member. Then we'll also check if the uh, the one who runs the command has permissions to kick member in members in the server. We'll do bridge dot has permissions kick members equals true. So if they do have it, we can proceed with the rest of the code. We're also going to make an error handler later on in the series that will catch these uh, has permissions errors and stuff. So here we want to define the command async def kick. And in cogs we need to put self before, otherwise it will be completely messed up. So self, context, and here we want to do so they can pass a member. So member will be of type discord.member and then they can also apply a reason for why they kick the why they want to kick the member. And it will be of type string and have a default value of no reason provided. So if they don't provide a reason, that will be the default value. So here, I want to, uh, in some cases, the kick command might take some time, depending on which memory and stuff. I want to put a, a wa await ctx.defer. This will do so if it will show the bot is thinking. So it, in case it would take longer than three seconds, the command won't time out, instead it will just show the bot is thinking for 15 minutes instead, so the bot gets way more time to process the command actually. So here we want to do, we want to check if the member is an administrator of the server. And if the member is an administrator, uh, they passed, we will return uh, that you can't kick another admin we'll do if member dot guild permissions dot dot administrator we want to do a check in here to see if the member is a bot as well if it is a bot we'll just continue with the code and everything so you will be able to kick other bots but you won't be able to kick actual people so if member dot bot want to do pass and if the member is actually a real member and is an administrator want to return await cdx.respond want to return an embed embed will be discord.embed the title of it will be failure we'll put a description of you can't kick another admin. We'll also put a color, uh, a discord dot color 
dot red. So it will show an embedded when it fails to kick the member because they are an administrator that they are an admin. So down here, we want to do a try. So it will uh, try to kick the member if uh, they aren't an administrator or anything. We want to try, and we want to put another try in here. I'll explain later why. And here we'll create a new embed, a kick embed. That is a Discord dot embed. The title of kick. So this is the embed that will be sent to the member when they are kicked from the server if possible it will have a description of <coughs> we'll make it an f string you have uh, been kicked from guild name so it will send the name of the server oops we want to do it cdx dot guild name and the color will be a red color so color equals discord so color dot red uh, and it will try to send this to the member. Oh wait, member dot send embed equals kick embed. We'll try to send this embed to the member, and if it doesn't work, it will just ignore to send the message and continue with the rest of the code, the path. So if it can't send uh, to the member, it will continue by kicking the member. Member dot kick reason equals reason. This variable we made up here. That uh, gets passed with the command. When it kicks the member, and we want to define a new embed, a Discord dot embed with the title success. So if you manage to actually kick the member successfully, we want to have a description of successfully kicked member dot name. We'll do this in these colons or what you should call it so you successfully kicked the member and you want a color of that embed to be green like that and we want to respond to the command with that embed like that but if we actually fail to kick the member if the bot for some reason can't kick it him uh, like the role is a bit, no that shouldn't be an issue, but for if it for some reason can't kick the member, we want to do an accept here. Define a new embed, in discord.embed, the title of failure. The description will be, uh, failed to kick member.name. And you could also do accept exception as e, and then le uh, in this embed uh, do something like error, and then print, uh, and then show e, so they will see why they can kick the member. But we are not going to do that here. We'll just do a basic accept. We'll do color equals discord dot color dot red. And that's our, uh, uh, almost, we want to just respond as well with it. So we actually send the embed. So that's our basic kick command. And we can basically just copy this code now. And modify it a bit so it works for banning as well. Just copy, jump down right here. And do, want to rename to ban a member. And rename the command to ban. You can keep that the same. And you can't ban another admin. Admin, you have been banned. And here we want to do anyway member dot ban instead. Successfully banned member dot name. Fail to ban. So there we have basically modified it. We can just change the name of it to be a bit more clean. That embed. Ban embed. So that's our kick and ban commands. Now we want to go to the bottom of this cog and call a function that's built in with PyCore that sets this bot that sets this uh, cog up properly so it works. We want to do def, def setup bot oops mis misspelled up 
def setup bot one two do bot dot add cog moderation bot we don't need to worry about what that does or anything it's just uh, we need to call it for the cog to work properly now if we go back to the main file here we want to scroll down a bit and before we define the main bot we want to do for file name so we want to load all cogs in this little folder so for file name in os.list there uh, and we want to do it in the cogs folder so for each item in the cogs folder we want to check if the file name ends with dot pi so it, if it ends with dot pi here uh, we want to load the extension client dot load extension f cogs dot then we want to do this file name i want to remove the last three uh, letters of this file name so dot pi will be removed because we don't want to include that when we load the cog so just like that i want to print an f string loaded file name so we print that the cog has been loaded here so that's basically it for the cog system now we just want to try to run this and see if it works properly so we want to do pi m main body starting logged in as pycode full bot and it loaded the moderation.py properly <coughs> so if we go into discord here we can check a look here right now i'll just do control r it will reload discord and the commands should appear properly we'll do here and we can see we have some more here uh, some more commands we can still use ping and we can still use that we can also for example kick we can try to kick myself hmm that's odd so what oh yeah that's the wrong bot <laughs> uh, so we can try to kick myself here and failure can't kick another admin what if we try to like kick uh, dino fail to kick dino cause it has permissions above basically it can't kick dino so that's our basic uh, cog implementation and also a, a moderation cog we'll continue adding some more stuff like timing out members muting them later on but that's it for this video in the next one we'll probably continue with the cogs maybe the moderation cog or get started on another one uh, thank you guys for watching this video i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye